Hello everyone and let's work on our hips. Hips is not just shimmies, it's a lot of movements like hip circles, pelvic tilt, pelvic twisting and working with the different muscle control like abdominals, glutes and something about releasing and contraction. Let's start from the floor. You need the yoga mat and the yoga block. And take off your scarves and belts, anything that might interfere with your workout, because maybe you can injure your skin, so like that, or maybe please take care of your belt safety. And last mirror fixing, and we are ready to start. Sit on the floor, cross your legs in front of you, and move front like a waving, a big wave front, and push your wave back. And the front wave should be much more than back. And then shift side to side with a figure eight. Feel it easier. Start to feel your obliques and lower muscles on your lower back. And make the circle again. You can add your head circle too as well. It's just easy exercise in the beginning to just warm up your body and to start to feel your body. And now on the head circle, one direction. I like to make the head circle slowly to feel every muscle on my neck in opposite direction, please. You can put your palms on the knees and reach your chin toward the chest and shift side to side and shoulder circles back and change direction to the front. And we are ready to sit down Take your knee and slowly rolling down on the floor, make the comfortable position your heels right opposite your pelvic and try to start opening and close your pelvic from the floor. Like you have the distance between your lower back and the floor, you can put the palm under and then you can close this hole between your spine and floor. If you feel that your body is shifting a little bit, it's okay. Try to focus on the chest and on your upper back. It's not moving. Your keep your upper back on the floor and you have the hole or the distance between your lower back and the floor. Now there's another angle to show you that my ribs stable and that's important because usually I can see so many ribs are dancing together with the hips. I really want to make the isolation work. Now let's try to move side to side, lift and release, stretch one hip bone toward the rib, but ribs not moving, they're stable and another side and shift side to side like a shimmy and keep your ribs on the floor and you don't have any distance between your spine and the floor and keep moving your hips down and up. Once again, from here, my ribs are stable, they are not moving. And from this angle, you can see one exercise to improve your layering skills, to lift your chest rib up and to put it down, keeping your hips working in the shimmy. Lift up, lift down. Stretch up as much as you can here. And release down. Lift up, release down on the floor. Here you can see the perfect angle to demonstrate it when I'm holding my hips, my hips not moving and my ribs are lifting and going back to the floor. And here I'm including the hips again and moving my hips and lift my chest down and lift my chest up and release down on the floor. But I'm continuing to make the shimmy work and you can see that my lower back not moving so much. This exercise for include the muscle control on your chest and obliques and I'm stretched side to side and I try to connect my rib toward the one side from my hip. You can see here that I'm stretching one side, but I can do my shimmy still. I can rotate my pelvic side to side and another side the same. One side 
of my oblique stretched and I continue to do this workout with my hips and release in front and let's do next exercise let's lift our leg up and alternating the legs one by one and continue keep your pelvic on the floor not open your hole and you can cross the leg and to make it more complicated if you can and you can feel that you still can continue to do that movement you can do the leg circle or open and close your knees side to side or maybe one leg straight and the movement not changing good if you can do here you're super brave and the mechanic work of the pelvic here it's not connected with the knees because i really want when you well stand up on the floor you can continue that movement please don't open your pelvic from the floor please keep it on the floor yes it's abdominals control you should have really good abdominals to make your pelvic on the floor during your legs lifting this exercise is quite complicated because it's too hard it's your abdominals work here but you can try why not and to release it to release your lower back muscles please reach your knees toward the chest and make the message on your lower back in the circle and change the direction of your circle from another side and take one knee stretch the second leg and make the knee circle around to work with your hip mobility you don't need to extra stretch your hip to the sides and try to control opposite side to not so much motions from the another side and the second leg stretch toward the chest open circle change the direction of the circle please keep the pelvic as much as you can on the floor i have a little bit shifting here so try to minimize this shift and take one knee and slowly rolling up and go to the table position on the knee yes and here you need to arch your spine up and bend your spine down arch your spine you can contract your belly in and look up to the ceiling after a few exercises cat cow position so take your yoga block and put on your upper back that movement and not move your upper back try to fix your upper back try to fix your ribs and try to move your pelvic without rib movement okay next exercise is stretching one leg back put on the toes and change the leg during the pelvic tilting and continue control your rib no motion in the rib cage try to work only with your hip okay put your yoga block on the floor and try to continue to do almost the same but let's add down face dog to this exercise if you feel that it's too much for you you can continue to do the previous exercise or add the pelvic motion in the down face dog pushing your palms against the floor and continue move your pelvic and release your spine and lower back put your arms in front stretching cat position if it's not enough for you you can put yoga block in front and put your palms on it to stretch more and then push your back to sit in the center and simple body twist one side and another side and oblique stretching to one side and another side try to keep your hips on the heels and come back to the table pose let's continue to do almost the same but let's change for the shimmy moves and of course yoga block can help us to control our rib cage without moving like that please nope let's move our hips up and down toward the ribs and make the same exercise with the leg one leg back second leg on the toe back and alternate the legs 
make as much as you want and advanced option you can lift your leg up and you still can continue that movement and second leg up from the floor and put the yoga block back try to keep the same motion without block and let's do something interesting let's arch your spine up and add some shimmy on it and down arch your spine up with a shimmy it's a good exercise for working with the layering as you see here my knees on the floor they're not moving it's a good answer on the question do i use my knees during the shimmy when I'm standing, nope, I'm not using, they're reacting, but I've never used my knees. And also interesting thing, if you focus on the belly, you can squeeze your belly in and squeeze your belly out, but keep the spine the same position. So the belly work, it's something different. We can help to move, but it's different control. You can do belly rolls, for example, with a shimmy together. And the down face dog, but not stretching legs right now keep them banded and come back to the center and push you back one more time and come back to the center if it's quite hard for you you can make it simple and one more interesting exercise i found when i'm trying to bend my knees and make them straight and continue to shimmy in that leg changes and I feel that I'm still can rotate my pelvic not my ribs not my shoulders that's something different you can see on the video that I'm moving only my pelvic only my hips work and also my knee reacting you can see here but I can control my knee here both of them you can alternate the legs one leg straight the second leg bended and continue to do the same and make a big wave in front look to the ceiling release your lower back and push you back to the yoga mat and your arms behind you can do the nice gentle message on your lower back reduce the pressure there and put your arms in front one arm crossed and stretch to the diagonal and another side and come back last one to the hip circle on the table position start with a big big circle of your spine but without the head and isolate your rib cage from this motion and here you are you will have hip circle it's the combination between the anterior and posterior pelvic tilt and lifting your hips side to side and you can do this exercise with one leg behind with lifted leg with banded and lifted leg up the second leg change circle in your hip imagine that you're drawing the circle with your <laughs> glutes but for me it's more about your pelvic inner rotation i feel it like my pelvic going around my center core or, or around my spine but it's moving together so maybe it's not the perfect visualization of that don't forget to use both directions to practice that and put this yoga block back on the floor and push you back with this hip circle in the down face dog and come back to the table position without the knees and push you back i like this exercise a lot because i feel the mobility if of my spine but it's important to drill your abdominals as well to keep your core and make your spine less pressured so please work on your abdominals with different exercise for abs after some relaxation go back to the center put one leg behind and let's feel how our pelvic can lift and move front and back or maybe make a big hip circle i feel like my sit bones touching the floor of course the hip rotation hip mobility and flexibility can be different 
for all of us. So try to find comfortable positions to make it here. And it's not necessary for touching the floor. Just it's a motion you can do yourself and stretch one side and change the legs and do the same on another side. From that angle, you can see that I'm lift my pelvis up and down. Don't think about technique too much. Try to think about touching floor and go away from the floor. Try to find comfortable leg position also. You can change it a little bit, of course. And stretch another side, stretch your obliques, come back to the center. Next exercise, if you are feeling that you're not good in that pose, it's not necessary to do, please protect your knees if you feel uncomfortable, or you can sit on the soft armchair to do the same exercise, or stand up and do just standing up. Please control your ribs, not move your ribs. I like this exercise a lot because it's a huge hard work for our quadriceps. I'm contracting my quadriceps to lift a little bit me from the heels and chest control, lift up and down. If you feel it's too much, please push your hips in front of you, stretch a little bit and come back. Try to do the same sitting exercise and try to rotate your pelvic front and back anterior and posterior pelvic tilt. Try to think about your ribs control and not moving your ribs. If you have the mirror perfect way to control, it's to watching on the mirror reflection and to see your ribs not moving. And please nice and long neck and lift your ribs up and down and continue move your pelvic front and back. After some exercise, please release your lower back, stretch in front and come back. Sitting position with a pelvic circle. Control your rib cage, not moving your rib cage. You can feel with your fingers how your pelvic moving. And then stretch your arms to the side. Try to feel every muscle inside what you're using here. It's not easy, I know. It's a lot of work here. Lift your chest up and down. Please no double chin. Make your neck as long as you can. If you feel that your ankle is not comfortable, you can lift a little bit higher, but it's more work for your quadriceps. Okay, let's try the Maya. Maya is a combination of lifting and shifting side to side. It's up, up and side, side. Try to make this shape of the figure eight going out. Later, you can try to make the taxim. It's figure eight going inside. And of course, rib cage control. You can try to make the movement with a chest lifting up and down with the Maya shifting. You can make layering with a rib cage lifting or with something else like shoulder shimmy. But oh my God, don't forget to stretch your legs and relax, shake your legs in front of you and stretch toward the legs. And we on our halfway stand up and let's do some exercise. Your knee right under your hip joint and try to make pelvic anterior posterior tilt. And maybe you can use yoga block again to control your rib cage. Not move your rib cage. Your rib cage can do amazing movements together with many different exercises of your hips. If it's too much for you, you can throw this yoga block. It's not necessary to hold it all the time. One more exercise to put your leg behind and control your knee. You can see here that my knee not moving. And change the leg. Second leg back. Contract, release, contract, release. 
and roll down. Rest a little bit here, all your way up and release down and make the nice shift in side to side with the figure eight and come back to this pose again. Control your knee. You can see here my knee a little bit reacting, but it's not main movement. And I continue to do my shimmy. Yoga block example, how I keep my chest not moving. I come closer to show you better that my ribs really not moving. That's important to go away from the crazy shimmies with the ribs and everything to make the movement less and not so messy. And yes, I know that's quite hard to do, but try to make one leg and the second leg. And I'm correct my yoga block a little bit. I'm not perfect to do all exercise, but I do my best for showing you. And the second leg, alternate legs, control your knee, less shifting on your knee. and release, stretch front. Rest a little bit here. Maybe you can go back to the down face dog and stretch up, look to the ceiling, come back to the down face dog and come back to the arms. And come back to this pose again. Let's try the last thing, hip circle. You can see here how my pelvic moving I'm not using my belly rolls. I'm trying to move my lumbar muscles, my obliques, my hip flexor, my abdominals, holding my chest on the same spot. A lot of muscles moving here, a lot of muscles control. And then make circle and one leg back. Oh no, it's quite hard. Yes, it's quite challenging. I can understand your feelings if you are standing with me in this second. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe <laughs> right now. No, go back to this exercise, no move and continue to do this exercise. Let's try make the mayas. This figure eight going out in the same pose and one leg back, try to shift your Maya side to side. And hold your ribs. And release. So shake it up and here we are. Stand up. And let's talk about the leg and shimmy. Maybe you can try to travel with the shimmy and legs together, different turns, different shifting, but some words about the mistakes. So important thing to say is my glutes relaxation. And you can see here that my hips completely relax. When we shift our leg in front, our glutes stretching, when we hold our leg back, our glutes contracted, move front, our glutes stretched, move back, our glutes contract. So maybe I have more compressing when I'm stretch my leg back and more relaxing hips in front of me. On the next example exercise, I want to demonstrate the difference between the knees shimmies and the pelvic shimmy. What I want to show that my shimmy going from the pelvic, if I'm shaking my knees, that looks something different. You can see here, this is my knee shimmy. This is my pelvic movement and this is my knee movement. Next exercise I want to show you for pelvic tilt control during the shimmy because sometimes I can see that many, many dancers doing the shimmy with the pelvic going out. But I like to move. I don't like to keep this in any pose because we can use both of these positions. For example, hip shimmy with a front circle of the hips. Situations can be different, but if you feel the stress on your lower back, maybe rotate your tailbone down can help you. And let's put on our belt if you want. I just want to show you one more common mistake to move your heels up and down because it's not affecting on the hips. You can see here that my hips can move without the heels and with 
heels lift. Lift your toes up and this small advice can help you to work with your balance. The balance can change during the dance, but this small checking can help you. Let's come back to the rib cage and try to move your rib cage different way to keep the shimmy the same parallel line with the floor, rib cage side to side, up and down, maybe twisting side to side, but you still can do your shimmies and you can do the circle of your ribs and you can see my shimmy still keep going. Not like that, please. So my way of working with the shimmy is up and down, but we have another one, for example, the shift and combination between the shift and lift, it's like a swing. That's option, but I prefer to do up and down. It's more comfortable for me. Lift your chest up and down. And you can move different direction, like sliding to feel your muscle control your abdominals, your obliques side to side, twist one direction, another side. And oh my God, let's release a little bit and go to the dance combo. So imagine that I am your mirror and put one leg in from your side on the toe and step front, cross and one leg to the side, cross back and second leg to the side and continue to do the shimmy, don't stop your hips motion. Control your rib cage and slide to the side and one leg up in passe and slide to opposite side, cross side, cross back, side. Body weight changing, lift in passe, touch the floor, go on the toe and rotate to the diagonal and come back to the previous pose. Rotate to diagonal and come back from the beginning. Again, one cross front, two, back cross front, three, <laughs> slide, lift up your toe and change the legs. And cross front a little bit, the toes back and one leg left in front of you and come back to the previous spot Put your toe cross front, rotation, and draw in the circle back and draw in the circle front. And circle back and circle front. And let's start from the beginning. Prepare your leg, cross front, cross back, side, leg change weight, and lift your knee up. Passe, change your legs, weight, cross front, and then one circle back and one circle front. Let's change the legs and start to step from the opposite side, cross front, back cross, shifting, lift your leg up, leg body weight change, front cross, rotate in the circle and big leg circle back and big leg circle front. And one more time, one, two, back, three, four, change, five, six, passe, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, in front, circle, one, two, three, four, change body weights, five, six, passe, seven, eight, front cross, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do it with the music. Okay, preparing your legs, preparing your hips, preparing your scarf. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, front cross, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and front, cross, step, back, cross, change legs, change legs, front, cross, turn, five, six, seven, eight, nine, holding still, front and back, the same step with it. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right, now it counts. Let's try with the hip circle. That's quite challenging, but I believe in you. Hip circle, any direction, you can choose any of that. I'm talking about ooh, yeah. Yeah. hit a goon with a tune. Yeah. Four strings, one hook, typhoon. Uh, but your face when he enters the room, your attention consumed when the beat got you moving. No hurdles, wow. Uh, Come bounce on the herb with the portal now. Uh, and I feel for the cattle by the burnout sounds. Uh, when Henny got you turned on that purple cow. Oh, let's try this section just to move your leg around with a hip circle. Turn on your hip circle and draw the circle on the floor. One direction and back. One direction and backward. But try to keep the same direction of your hips and change direction of your leg drawing on the floor. And let's do one more time with the music and with the hip circle with all steps. Okay, maybe the second one can be challenging, but let's try to make all steps with a Maya figure eight going out. It's a really difficult muscle control, you can try with me or continue to shimmy or hip circle. Yes, let's change the size and direction and then I'm gonna try to see the figure eight going in. Oh my god, that's quite challenging. Continue, keep your shimmy on, control your rib cage, and thank you so much for watching and see you on the next videos. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm talking about ooh, yeah, yeah. hit a goon with a two, uh, four strings, one hook, typhoon. Uh, but your face when he enters the room, your attention consumed when the beat got you moving. No hurdles, wow.